up there, guys? Uh, I'm actually at the tower right now. This is a very big open field. Makes it easy to play around with. Uh, I'm at the Tampa Tower, the sighting tower. It's pretty old school. We fly out here every once in a while, but when I need to go somewhere that has a big open field, this is where I go for testing and flying and getting used to things. Uh, the Ghost Drone has the uh, 600 milliwatt BTX on it today. Uh, the first modes we're going to be trying is waypoints. Uh, so basically I'll set a waypoint and then I'll be able to just pull the goggles down and watch the flight. Uh, G-Box connected to my phone and then uh, when I get to my next waypoint, I can lift up the goggles, choose a new direction, pull the goggles back down. So that's how we're going to do this because I don't have a regular FPV monitor yet. Um, and then after that I'm going to show you guys immersive avatar mode which should be pretty crazy. It's a little windier than I wanted out here today. Um, I don't know why the one day I do choose to like go fly decides to get windy, but it is what it is, man. So I'm going to calibrate this. It's the first time it's ever going to have flight. So I'm going to get all the calibrations out of the way and uh, then we'll get up in the air in waypoint mode and we'll see what happens. We'll see you guys in a sec. Well, the wind is starting to pick up here. I've got the E-Hang app connected right now. It says I've got 100% battery power. Uh, I've got FPV. I'm going to go ahead and start this recording now. Let's see if I'm recording. Yep, I've got the camera started on the ghost drone. Let's, uh, let's get this in the air. Let's pull out the G-Box here. And remember, power button facing towards yourself. Back of the cell phone will work just like that. Both antennas are peak point. And uh, let's take off here. It's still pretty windy though, it's quite annoying. Up she goes. Let's send her up higher here. 94% battery, 87, 86. That should be good. Let's uh, hold out the screen here a bit. Let's tap for a waypoint. We're going to take it out here for a waypoint. See how it does. Command given. There she goes. got perfect FPV. Little bit of breakup, not much. Alright, at least this destination. Let's send it over here now. Off it goes. Excellent FPV, man. Waypoints are working out like a charm. Just reached its destination. Let's bring it closer here. Off it comes towards the tower area. Doing beautifully despite the wind. Reached its destination. Let's bring it back in here. Back to home takeoff point. FPV is working wonderfully. And back to home point she goes. Good pan the camera down. There and just chilling there. Let's put her in land here. I still got 51% battery. We'll look around real quick. We'll do a little yaw of the area here. Is 
that beautiful tower. All right, we're gonna go ahead and push land. Let's see how it does. Coming down, just the camera control. Pretty windy out here, guys. I'm not gonna lie. See, it's having to calculate for a lot of wind, man. See how it does on the land. That was a pretty smooth landing, man. Very, very smooth. Motors locked. Everything went as planned. FPV turned out perfect. You guys, this is just a two bit windy for me to want to try avatar mode. I don't think the flight will work as good. I keep getting pretty powerful gusts today, so I think we're going to call it with the waypoint mission. But uh, yeah, that worked uh, spectacularly. Like I said, though, uh, it's probably best not to be doing waypoint missions with goggles. Uh, I didn't have an extra FPV monitor. The one that I ordered still hasn't come in yet, so. This setup is really good though. I, I like this. This is going to be great for avatar mode. Like I said, it's just, it's too windy today, man. I keep getting some pretty powerful gusts. Avatar mode is something I want to try on a day when there's just like no wind. So I'll probably take the wristband off of that watch that I ordered and just attach it with Velcro to the G box so I can watch my flight and make the adjustments on the uh, screen as needed for my phone. So it's not a bad setup, man. Once you figure out what you want to do with it, you know, this is a fun drone. Just make sure, the one thing I've learned about this drone is make sure you give yourself room to play when landing, when doing things like that. Because if you saw my other video, I didn't give myself enough room during set down to manually control it and it ended up hitting the fence and we lost some props. I think there was some Wi-Fi interference in there as well. Uh, but definitely a big portion of it was user error on my part. So now I give everything that I do with this drone a nice wide berth. I want to make sure I have a good field to take off in give myself some room to play so it worked fantastically no drop-offs today no Wi-Fi interference in this area this is just a great spot to fly at so there you go that would have been cool huh all the I don't know I think they're vultures all the vultures swinging around the tower that's pretty cool man pretty cool but anyways guys drone worship I'm out I was gonna fly the little C-17 and I may still give that a shot regardless of the wind and see how things go but uh FPV works great. A few small drop-offs uh, when I was turning the body, I could see some flutter in it. I'll put up the DVR footage with it. So, anyways, guys, drone worship. I'm out. Toodaloo.